Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on uh, data and sound cable. We've talked about power cables in other lectures and I've touched on signal cable but now I really would like to focus on that. XLR cable, XLR connectors come in a variety of configurations. As you can see this is a DMX connector, DMX cable and it has five pins around it. A sound cable only has three pins. XLR connectors come in a variety of pin configurations. This one has six connectors. You can get as many as eight connectors on a single XLR cable. We don't use that. We use three, four, five, uh, and six. I don't believe there is a two conductor. The four conductor that we use most often this is for LED power and we also use it for scroller power. And inside of this cable are two different kinds of wire. Two of these conductors carry power to the device and the other two conductors carry data to the device. So in this four pin cable we carry power and data. All right. In a sound cable we just carry data and a ground or a shield which insulates the um, cable from any outside interference. In DMX we carry a shield and data plus and data minus which is carrying digital information as well as digital information back to the device or back to the controller. That's a feedback loop. It's rarely used anymore but it is an option. So those are XLR cables. XLR refers to this shield, to this style of connector, to a connector that goes together and then locks together. To connect XLR, you just line up the pins, press it together, and it will click. Maybe. This might have too much paint on it. Let's see if we have another one. I know this DMX will will go together and click. We just line the pins up, push them together, and it clicks. To release it, all you have to do is press down on this little lever. This will lock together. Press on that little pin, that little um, lever right here, and then pull them right apart. Again, put it together, and it locks. Pull them apart. Okay, that applies to all XLR. There is another kind of data cable that you are probably accustomed to. This is an Ethernet cable. Ethernet is the communications protocol that computers use to talk to other computers and talk to printers. There are eight conductors inside of this. They correspond to these eight pins. They're very small and this only carries digital information. There is no power component to this at all. I'll just slide that little boot back on there, or maybe I won't. And that is Ethernet cable. We can go into greater detail about how to make those connections later. Moving towards sound. Another common sound connector is a quarter inch phono plug. You may know the smaller version of this as an eighth inch phono plug or a 3.5 millimeter phono plug. This is a common connector for an iPhone or an Android or an iPod that plays music to a set of outside speakers. It's also used in computers. When you hook your sound system up to your computer, it often goes through an eighth inch um, phono plug or a 3.5 millimeter phono plug. They are the same, virtually the same, right? And that's how that, those are those connectors. Now, if you'll look at this connector, you'll notice that it has a couple of bands on it. This one is referred to as a tip, ring, and then sleeve. There are actually three conductors inside of here. This would be the shield, this would be the negative, and this is the positive. That enables this connector to do stereo. Left channel, right channel, and common. The same applies to this particular 8th inch phono plug. It is also a tip, a ring, and a sleeve. 
This connector style is often just referred to as a tip ring and sleeve connector. It's also referred to as an eighth inch phono plug. That's an introduction to data cables and basic sound cables. Thanks so much.